All right, hi. Section five, miscellaneous control details type. All right. Um. All right. Type of TC control. General description of the control is used to end selection of the direction of motion of the locomotive is provided with a single handle, which is removable in the off position. Stationary fingers mounted to the insulated supports may be contact with the copper segments. The insulated drum and complete with the control circuits through the operating coils with the switch device. The control should be examined for the regular inspection periods to make sure that the connections are tight, that the fingers are making good contact. The fingers should give approximately one half to two pounds pressure on the drum segment. The drug segment should be clipped with the clean and occasionally with a few drops of oil should be spread over the the surface and wiped off with a clean cloth. Do not use any more or oil that is necessary to keep the segments of the cut from cutting. The bearings and other working surfaces should occasionally be lubricated with a few drops of light machine oil. It shows a uh, Type 4 TC-285 controller outline. Reverser, your description. The reverser function is to reverse the connections between the field and armatures of the traction mode to prescribe the movement of the car, the local one will be either forward or backward. The reverser is, reverser is provided with the insulation drum and the mounting on the seal shaft that's carried by the new bearings, which are supported by the insulating base and the strips of the copper, which are mounted on the drum the surface. Make the contact with the strip and stationary spring of the fingers that, list it, uh, that are mounted on the reverse base and then establish the proper connection of the drum is resolved from the either one or two positions by the action of the two air cylinders and mission with the compressed air with the cylinder is controlled by the two electrical magnetically operated valves. To operate the reverser is only necessary to complete with the circuit of the bear from the battery from one of the magnet coils with the current is the coil magnets. I have the cord to pull down the armature one and the open the valve and then, then uh, thus emitting the air out of, to one cylinder to the turn of the drum. The first drum uh, drum is divided into two parts. The larger section is handled with the, with the main current is provided with the heavy copper as segments in the way of contact with the stationary fingers mounted on each side of the drum. The smaller section which handles with the low voltage control circuit is provided with the light copper segments with contact with the small fingers on each side. The object is the these interlocking fingers are these are they are called and provided with the interlocking between the reverse drum and the circuit of the operating with the power switches. A handle is provided with the reverse so a shaft that is and can be operated with the hand in, in case of the emergency during the inspection. The interlocking of the controlling circuit of the um, reverse is such that the drum contacts do not break the motor um, current. At any signs of the arcing of the drum they indicate that each either the weak um, finger pr 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 um, pr Pressure of the faulty operation, um, presence of fault, um, pressure of faulty operation. The drum, drum contact should be kept clean and smooth, uh, with the aid of the sand from fine sandpaper. The, uh, the contact should be wide and perfectly clean after they are when they are smoothed. Particularly, um, care should be exercised to see that no grit is lodged under the finger. For the carriers of the magnet valve, the section of the control magnet valves. Are right, your fingers? The pressure of the fingers over the contact should be approximately eight to ten pounds for the main contacts, one to two pounds for the interlocking fingers. The fingers of the pressure can be measured, and the means of the small bearing balance with attached to the piece of the band metal strap in which they slipped under the finger. If the contact of the fingers, the drug segments, so drug seg um, drum segments are allowed to operate with the completely with the drive with the start of the cut in the comparatively short time. The slightly little machine oil should be spread occasionally over the drum contacts with the piece of cloth and the the, um, the drum should be operated with a few times any superfluous oil with the contact segments and should be wiped off. The drum bearing should be oiled in intervals with a light oil. Cylinder maintenance. The piston are properly oiled, but the reversers are assembled with the factory or ordinarily with the function of a long period of um, or six months or four, a year before they require any additional lubrication. When the lubrication is necessary, only an HL oil are supplied with the Westinghouse Company for the particular with the purpose uh, should be used. Though using this unsuitable oil will lead to trouble in the gum pistons, which may be caused the slug section, action or a sticking. In order to remove the piston route of the pistons, it is necessary to first remove the four tap of the bolts with the hole of the drum bearings in place for lifting the, out the drum. Next to tap the bolts and the cylinder head should be taken out and the head and the head removed and careful being exercised not to injure the paper gaskets which are under them. They are nuts or what not lock nuts and lock washers are one of the end of the piston rod should be and can be shoved out of the cylinder and pushing at the end of the Swiss piston rod with the screwdriver. The remaining pistons in the cylinder can easily be pushed out from other end and not available to push, push the piston pad the opening of the center part of the cylinder um, uh, and the leather be, may, be injured. Leather may be injured. All right, this shows a type uh, XRX482 MNO and XR329M XR532M um, reversers. 
control control magnet valves, general description. Electro-pneumatically operated devices are provided with the magnet valves and governing the emission of the air to the exhaustion air. And the air operated cylinders, magnet valves are fall, fall, fall naturally into two general classifications of operating principle, namely standard and inverted valves. Standard valve was when energized emits air from the pressure line from the, through a small port um, in seating allow the air to pass through the valve and then into the air cylinder that actuates a complete piece of the apparatus. In this way, the valve pressure of the air line with the reserve acts with continuously in the cylinder is along with the magnetic oil coil, while another valve within the other seat prevents the air from um, escaping through the magnet valve with the ex exhaust port. The inverted valve with the energized axis is shut off of the air with the supply line allow the air to escape from the cylinder either through the exhaust port with the magnet valve so, um, sequence switches usually it's both types of the valves at the same time due to the opposed direction of the travel of the piston and the air cylinder the magnet valves be alternately energized by de-energized depending on the direction of the motion necessary. Figure drawing, which follows the illustrated with the general principle of the magnet valve using the triple cross section of the standard valve, the chief distinction between the standard and inverted valve being the standard valve one bushing with the two seats upper and lower, and the two valve stems are used while an inverted valve with the two bushing and one floating valve with the two um, faces actuated with the push rod operating between the bushings are used. The construction corresponding with the valve parts is similar with the following description, therefore, of supplies to all supply all the valves. Um, in figure the drawings, which follow the um, files as shown in the Diagrammatical cross sectional view of the standard magnet valve with the operating parts of the position they will occur, uh, they occupy with it. There is no current with the passing through the coil, and up under this condition, the spring A pushes the valve and B against the seat, and C that prevents the air from passing over the control air, air supply with the operating of the cylinder. This spring A is not only close with the valve, but B the same time lifts in the valve, and D off the C E the lines with a clear ob opening of the escape from the air from the operating cylinder. Through the passage J and F to atmosphere to the magnet coils energized with the armature put H um, pushes down on the stem K um, opens the valve and emits the air from the supply to the operating cylinder through the passage P at the same time close to the exhaust valve. Several mechanical well adaptions magnet valves have been thoroughly um, made throughout the years. Many years during the air operated control system that have been used for instantly the operator uh, it shows a cross section of Westinghouse open coil type standard magnet valve Unfortunately, of the maintenance procedure for all the valves, particularly when the same reference is made with the following double page sheet, the tools and instruction for the servicing magnetic valves for the special instructions which apply with the valve to the particular equipment. The inlet valve leakage. Occasionally, a valve will blow, or i.e., given out the hissing sound due to the leakage air, but this occurs with the magnet coil de energized with the air blows out the magnetic exhaust port. If, if it is an indication of the lower inlet of the valve is not seating properly, this, tr this trouble is caused generally to by the presence of or by little dirt of the valve seat. In most cases, it can be occurred by pressing down on the pinion, topping the magnet valve, releasing it with a click several times. If the blowing of the permit shut off the air with the apparatus, unscrewing the plug at the bottom of the magnet valve, carefully lowering the plug straight down and springing the lower valve that will drop within it and wipe off the valve perfectly clean with a, split, a small stick of the piece of the cloth that also cleans with the valve seat. When replacing the lower valve with the spring and the plug of the valve, the first move of the cap over the armature so that in case the valve stem does not properly enter the hole in the stem K, it is free to lift it with the advanced seam and stop with the being damage. If the inlet exhaust valve is not too tight, the difficult open time, some overcome inserting the small screwdriver in the top of the slot, spinning it a few times of the, a few times on the seat. Or exhaust valve leakage. In case the standard valve blows through the exhaust port with the coils energized with the same Sign with the exhaust valve that is not properly um, in on the seat. This may be due to one, any one of the following causes that they are mentioned in the order that they are usually liable in occurrence. One, dirt on the valve on the seat. Two, the wake of the battery, battery or low voltage applied to the coil. Three, dirt and under the magnet armature. Four, arm, um, valve stem um, worn down to the, to the so that the armature strikes the core before the valve seats. To remove the stem K, if it's and that's not necessary to shut off the, um, the uh, air, first remove the cap over the armature, lift off the armature with not fastened in any way, um, next, place the finger on one hand of the magnet valve with the exhaust port. F, press down on the top of the valve with the stem um, with the finger with the other band hand on, then release the finger quickly. The valve stem will be raised with the air pressure and can be rapidly lifted out and end of the um, valve wipe clean. All right, your exhaust valve leakage continue to weak battery, sometimes given a sufficient pull to unseat the lower valve, but not enough to close the exhaust, so they obviously read many is charge of the battery. Another possible um, cause of the blowing exhaust valve is the worn down stem, the very unlikely to occur until 
after the equipment has been in service for years, um, if this stem is found to be short and if it can be slightly stretched by painting the shank. All right, um, magnet valve inspection maintenance, the valve gauging. In order to obtain the satisfactory operation of electro-pneumatic valve, it is necessary to maintain the travel of the valve at the final gap between the armature with the cords and, with, and the certain limits. After a considerable period of the service, the valve wears down. It is necessary to refit the replace in order to accurately determine the condition of the simple gauge. The style number 754434 is applied to the gauges used with the bolt of the standards and D inverted with the valves turning in over depending on the valve um, to the G check. Standard valve. Um, gauge S number 7 S54434 is used to check and adjust the final gap of the length of the number and the, the new upper valve is M C figure 1 of the get double sheet of the following remove the magnet cap and insert the gauge that is shown with the flat file at the top of the, you know, of the upper stem until the 0 0.5 of is um, 0.056 gauge will be admitted air type of the cylinder with slight leak out of the exhaust and the two um, 0, 0, 0.052 um, 0, 0 gauge will close the exhaust valve tight in the final air gap is between the two and approximately 0 0.54 new stems have excessive length it should be grounded in tight seat before adjusting the gap the direction of the grinding are included with the lateral in the later paragraph in service are permissible to allow upper stem of the seat aware until the final gap is approximately 0 0.32 um, 32 thousandths of an inch or 0 0.66 thousandths of a gauge which will um, at this point we will unseat the lower valve with the admitted with the air the cylinder upper stem of the must be stretched with the open with painting and a new stem used um... The same gauge with the number S754434 is used after the upper valve that has been adjusted to address the travel length of the lower valve stem. The using the 88,000 gauge gauge, this will probably um, cause the valve to unseat blow out of the dirt, excessive length of the lower stem. The upper and end of the lower stem should then be flat and flat filed until um, 88,000 of an inch gauge will not touch the 7,000, uh, 7,000, 70,000, 700 of an inch gauge with an unseat with the lower stem. The total gap is approximately 0, 086,000 of an inch travel. The 86 minus 1000 and 0, 054,000 and 0, 032,000 of an inch in service is permissible to allow the lower seat to wear as long as the condemnable gauge 0, 066 mal, um, makes the lower valve with the blow with the upper of the stem and now new. If it does not travel with the reach of 0, 012,000 and the lower stem must be stretched, being a new stem is used. Inverted valves um, gauge number S754434 is used to check and adjust the final gap, gap and length of the new push rod C figure 6 for the double sheet filing. Remove the magnetic cap. Insert the gauge as shown. Flat file top of the push rod until the 0, 52 thousandths of an inch gauge um, discharges the cylinder in a slight leak of the exhaust and 0, 049 thousandths of an inch gauge discharge the cylinder inlet valve tight. Final air gap is between the two of the approximately 0, 05,500 um, of an inch and the new push rod's excessive length of the valve that should be grounded into the tight seal before the adjusting the gap, the direction of the grounding and or included with the later paragraph, the same, same. The same gauge number S754434 is used to check the travel of the floating valve that the travel is factory between 17,000 of an inch or 27,000 of an inch of the, pre the proper machine with the bushings of the floating valve to check the traveling of 79,000 of an inch gauge will close the lower the port and should not make a make um, valve below the zero and the zero sixty six thousand of an inch gauge should be caused with a slight leak with both checks being being made with the cylinder charged. Um and surface was permissible to allow the push rods wear until the final gap is approximately zero thirty two thousand of an inch and the magnet with the cores with the clapper of the type of the armatures are made with the bronze and residual stop is twenty thousand of an inch two hundred of an inch height above the um, core face of the above the sleeve on the core or using the pins of the final air gap between the ascending would be twelve thousand of an inch. Um the more than the height of the residual pins are 56,000 inch gauge of the air with the cylinder, but the push rod be stretched. Or the gauge um, gauge will be at this point with the unseat with the exhaust port discharge air with the cylinder push rod must be stretched and painting with a new rod used and for adjustment of the floating valve as possible. Therefore, the maximum travel exceeds the limit in approximately 12,000 inch new valve that must be grounded in. Grinding valves, um, and occasionally necessary to grind the leaky valve to be prepared with the grinding of the compound for the purpose of making the thin paste of the very finely with the ground pumice machine oil. Apply the little grind, grind, grinding compound with the valve seat, put the valve in the place, and spin back and forth with a screwdriver. Um, when, um, when grinding the lower valve with the upper stem of the push rod should be placed in the, as the active guide. Um, after grinding the stem of the valve seat, we should be thoroughly cleaned by using a little gasoline or blowing it out with air. For detailed instruction, convenient tools of the grinding surface of the valve, the double seat of the tools, instruction servicing magnet valves, which follows.
All right, controlling magnet valve tools. The following for, uh, are conventional type valves. The following list of the control and magnet valve types of the, uh, tools um, cover the generally not needed facilitated work apparatus. See the double sheet fouling tools and instruction surfacing um, magnet valves. You have your valve seat scraper and its different size shanks. The valve seat set, different size shanks. Upper valve stem shank, the valve shankers, um, grind, guide nut scraper for standard lower valve only. Um, tool adapter for grounding lower bushes. Inverted um, core span, core, core span or wrench um, set. Valve grinding panel grip, floating valve, and whirlig bit from the whirlig grinders. 532 to an inch, 732 to an inch, 516th of an inch, 24, 2564th of an inch. Extension bit wiggler grinder for the grinding of the flotation valve with 1 8th of an inch stem, magnet valve gauge, socket wrench, screwdriver, socket wrench, and standard tools are as required. Um, this shows, uh, and that shows a, that's a picture. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, All right, general description of magnet con contactors. Magnetic contactors, magnetically operated switches used to propose the closing and opening of the auxiliary power circuits that they are operated low voltage battery circuit. Each contactor compromises stationary movable contact electromagnetic, bringing the contact together with the blowout coil to extinguish the arc of the arc shield to protect the metal portion of the switch. The stationary moving the contacts made with the hard drawn copper the sufficient section to give the long life the end the burning at the opening of the closing that occurs only at the tips of the contact does not affect the current carrying the surface of the slipping and viping. Wiping, slipping, wiping is action, closure, they ensure the clean and low resistant clean um, contact areas, steel compression with their spring will ensure the positive contact pressure regardless of the wear. Also causes the quick opening with the contact, the arc shields when made with the molding heat and the resisting material um, hand so that they may be easily rotated with the hand in the first perspective for the contacts. Two maintenance of the magnetic um, contactors. Now, oil and other lubricants should be used with the copper of the contacts. The contacts normally wear to give the head the best contact surface with any of any intention. Uh, without any attention to a furnished um, appearance and the indication of the good contact is not being obtained to clean the contact surface with fine sandpaper. When the wear of the face is which causes excessive roughness, the copper contact should be removed with the tip of the burn away with the extent of the current carrying surfaces are materially affected with the contacts being removed, taking out the single screw of the neglect, the contact removal by any allowing of the arc of the burning to um, the contact screw, making it difficult to remove any of the other or otherwise damaged by the contactor. Um, the contacts sometimes very quickly result in the small travel, very little wiping action they may be caused by the bending of the hinge pin if insufficiently free movement of the armature too strong for the finger spring the bearing of the hinge pin to the armature shaft that requires no lubrication oil quickly collects on the dust and sand unless the part is frequently cleaned it will interfere with their operation um, the bearings and the hinges should be, be kept in perfect condition with the decrease of the contact um, pressure results from the worn hinge pit, pin and weak finger spring in either case the defective part should be removed improperly pro moved properly all right, you maintain t maintenance with contactors. Continue to see the air arc shield should be renewed before the module um, molt module um, material is burned away with the sufficient to expose the metal poles. If the shield may be moved excessively and taking out the single bolt, the BD, the flexible copper shunt, which should always be taken ahead tight, tight becomes loose and the damage of the shunt burning at the point E. The operating low, operating coil will be removed readily and lowering the camera disconnect the terminal leads and removing the screw. The coils are designed to operate with the contactors successfully at the 80% to 110% no normal voltage and to stand at 110% voltage continuously without overheating. Coils are impregnated to make the resistance of the oil um, to moisture and oil. After the sealing surface of the magnet and coil and armature should be clamped clean, the interlock should be properly adjusted to so that the contact with the correct point. After the car, the locomotive has been in a inspection can be made immediately on the shutdown with the contactor with the condition facing the temperature for the contacting interlocking by hand. The warm on, on the warmer ones should be actuated with the same method of inspection can be applied with the contacts. One, the pull-in voltage of the contactor should be determined with the overflow of the contactor to set into the pull-in at not more than 80% of the normal voltage. J. Faulty and other erratic observation may occur to due to the high pull-in voltage during the burn burning, um, to build binding in the bearing at other points. Alright, um, okay, the arcing shield and shoot of the surrounded with the main 
um, context for the release with the readily slid out of the um, out from its position and provided with the purpose of directing the arc of the preventing it from coming into contact with the blowout poles other panel metal parts with the, of the switch um, parts of the arc chute and all made with the air resisting insulating material that would be gradually wear with the way occasionally renewing the slides should be renewed before they are burned away sufficiently to expose the metal poles and pieces when the copper shunt and carries the current with the lower contact with the contactor terminal should be as securely fastened and broken badly worn if broken or balanced badly worn Warren should be replaced or prom promptly. All right, interlockings. Um, an interlocking is a glory switch commanded with the main circuit and electro-pneumatic switch with electromagnetic contact with established disconnect with the control circuit at the time of the operation particular switch. There are two general classes of the in, in interlocking that completes with the control circuit with the main contacts of the switch are closed, and the out interlocking, which establishes the control circuit with the main contacts are open with a single main switch. Contactors can be equipped with the inner uh, interlockings or outer interlocking for the combination of both, depending on the sequence required. There are three general types of the bullet, but type the commonly we use magnetic contact or sliding type of the cam types, usually with pneumatic switches, which the butt type of the small metal arms is attached with the armatures of the switch. The arm of the actuator is provided as pivoted and isolated with the block of the mounted spring with the support with the contacts. The switch operates with the contacts of the bridge control of the um, terminals and established with the circuit with the sliding of the type of the or like control wipers, um, wipes and terminated with the compensated with the fingers mounted on the base of the switch insulated block, which is carries with a uh, small um, conducting, conducting segments and is attached with the piston arm on the, of the switch. The switch operates with the segment slides under the two um, fingers of the completed with the circuit with the cam type of the copper with the control wires terminated with the stationary spring fires of the man on, on the base of the switch. The block by attached with the piston arms that comply carries in small cams the switch operated with the cams closed they open the swing fingers to make up the break of the circuit to be the stationary fingers. Interlocks have very important function to overall with the performance of apparatus with the failure to import the interlock is sufficient to prevent the operation. Trouble can be avoided with periodic inspection. Inspection of the following examination of the interlock should be made in inspection series. See that the control terminals are tight. See that the interlocking contacts are, con are clean and not worn or burned. See that the, the, their deflection of the spring in the interlocking figure large with the contact is made. One butt type of the can be obtained with adjusting the length of the interlocking arm. One of the sliding arm um, type of the can um, this can be accomplished by putting the slide uh, slide it slight set on the finger. One of the cams of this can be accomplished by the adjusting type of the gap between the fingers. This should be normally one eighth of an inch when open. Um this shows a uh figure um drawing. Another drawing. All right, your throttle switch. Um, the switch is controlled with the lever operates with the engine engine with throttle valve in such a way that the first movement of the throttle from the idle position closed with the run contacts, establishing the circuits of the reverse drum through which the traction motor contractors and metal generator contracts are energized. Running the contacts remains closed until the throttle is returned to the idle position. The throttle switch shall be cleaned and inspected for the loose terminals, poor contacts, broke springs, and irregular inspection periods. The up opening and closing of the switch should be closed with the check and ensuring the pull before engine speeds above idling. The cover should be removed for the spring action check for the quickness of the action with of the action. Here goes a throttle switch outline. Your type UV five F sixty um, UV fifty six relay um, panel. The relay panel consists of either the relays or two resistor tubes, then resulting in insulating the base or one relay or resistor or one tube on the base. A relay exactly of the mechanically detailed coil oils must be adjusted with the operating differential um, voltage. Uh, the current operating voltage lubricated with the wiring of the diagram. That each of the coils is connected with a series of one resistant tubes. The relay and the clamp are the type of the device is mounted with the hardened pivot of bearings, which are covered with the flat washer and exclude the get um, the do dirt and uh, the dust and dirt. The pivot pin, pin, pivot point pinions. Uh, pivot, sorry, the pivot points are usually minimized. The frictions at the counterweight of the attached with the armature to the balance of the moving of the points minimize the effect of the vibration. The moving of the stationary contacts have the contacts of the silver tip. These relays are adjusted with the two voltage. One of the so-called pickup of the voltage, which is the voltage which is the coil overcomes the pull of the spring and the pulls of the armature. The other the, other the voltage is the dropouts, which is the voltage in which the tension of the spring co overcomes the pull and the coil pulls on um, the armature back away from the coil. Three adjustments are required for the calibrated with these real relays with one of the tensions of the spring, the second of the air gap, the relay is closed, the third of the air gap, the relay with the opening and de energized the adjusting has been made at the factory should not be made by any not may need to any may to be any cha change. These adjustments have been all soldered with the vibration on the locomotive will be changed to them. Um 
The effect of the picking up the drop out of the voltage of the three adjustment with this file with increasing the tension in the spring rear. This is both of the pickup of the drop out voltage decreasing the tension and lower the pickup of the drop out voltage with the relay de energizing increasing the air gap. The means of the stop screw raising the pickup of the voltage does not affect the drop out decreasing the air, lowers and pickup of the valve voltage without affecting drop out when the relay picked up the decreasing air of the re- gap of the means of the residual screw um lowers in the drop out voltage without affecting the dr- break up, increasing the server pack gap of the relay raises the drop out voltage without affecting the pickup um pickup. And another method is um which may be not adjusted is in a jumper on the resistor, but the adjustment is determined but the factory must be changed in the new resistor tube. This installed care should be taken when they assemble the identification of lower end of the relay po- panel and position of the jumper old tube should be noted that after the replacing of the new tub, the jumper should be insulated with the top, a- top um, tap corresponding to the tap of the old tube. If possible, relay panel should be removed and winch for source of the variable voltage without the range of the covering the pickup of the dropout voltage. If possible, to adjust these relay through relay po- vol- locomotives with the circuit with the traction motor is broken, but it may be um, possible to adjust while the locomotive is in operation. When the pickup of the dropout voltage shown on the diagram changes in the proper adjustment, this will only um, require an infrequent intervals provided with the adjustment and resoldering to prevent the locomotive's vibration from affecting them. The fingers should be kept in the adjustment and as they were. The fingers should be deflected at 1 16th of an inch for the contact of the stud. The air gap gap between the finger and the contact stud should not be less than 3 32 of an inch relay or should not be flow uh, either on in or, on in or out. This is a uh, transportation control type UV56 relay panel outline. Your type M resistors. The type M resistors are used in the circuit with a large resistor capacity is re- required. The resistor is built with a tubular unit. The same low center supports insulated with the section po- um, po- um, porcelain resistant per ribbon with the um, wounded edge of the form of the helix about the section of the porcelain. The units are mounted with the insulation tie rod supported with the strap steel frame. Each of the unit may be removed easily with disturbing any of the other units. The resistor li- um, limits the amount of the support current flow through the restric- rest- respective circuits that they are important to the part of the overall performance of the the equipment electrical characteristics of the equipment can be set up with the adjustment with the resistor important with the circuit all resistance valves are properly adjusted when the unit is first but put into the surface adjustment should only be made with the one who is familiar th- thoroughly familiar with the performance of complete equipment at light and the heavy inspection of the complete resistors reassembly should be examined for the broken porcelain resistant ribbons check all the connections that are tight and properly made bit and the resistant bit ribbons are improperly occurred um, securely clamped in the terminal of the mounting of the insulator and the frame terminal bar should be cleaned the general overall in addition with the overall inspection of mounting bolts that should be tightened the insulation terminal bar should be cleaned the painted with an insulation varnish when replacing the resistor t- tube with the car air should be taken with the, having the terminal clamp the resistor ribbon and smooth the end of um, right before t- making the connection it is preferable to be used the new terminal clamps when replacing the uh, the tubes. Control resistor. The control resistor, which carry only low values, the current consists of the resistant wire ground wounded on the tube. The tubes are various um, medic values are specified with the wire diagram. The control resistors also have an important function overall the operation of the electrical apparatus. The characteristic of the equipment can be described by changing the values of the control resistors. An important circuit. The resistors are properly adjusted with the equipment in the first place and service should not be tampered with. Adjusting should be made only when one is um, thoroughly familiar with the performance of the complete equipment. A light heavy inspection resistor panels should be examined carefully loose the connections the resistor tube should be taken with the, um, the panel with the check with the broken open circuit tubes and other um, cars should be exercised in placing the tubes and making the proper connection to the replacing broken damaged tubes only with the tubes having identical style number All right, your miscellaneous um, switches and fuses. All hand switches and fuses should be regulated, regularly inspected to cover the switch valves and the fuses of the fuse clips, making the good connection. Leak and familiar soldering terminals and bolt tightly. Panels and bases clean and free from oil and dot, dust. And uh, correct fuse and the use of the uh, spares. Uh, available auxiliary apparatus testing. Use of the fl- fu- um, fully fuse bolts and the frequently and spring currently and placing the separate operating the apparatus. Teated with the proper operation. Contacts clean and smoothing. Um, this inspection should cover it all the times whether provided with the control and mechanism switch of the fuse of the traction action motor cut out switches with the transfer and sander feet foot switches buttons should be engine stop of the other circuits headlight and hand switches of the fat and for traction motor um, blower switches. All right, here you have a battery switch knife outline. This is probably a double double um, double double switch. It's a battery switch and the switch knife. Um, 
a railway control type A B circuit breaker with a 10 to 50 A amps outline. Um, section six maintenance and inspection.